What is up guys, I'm Tom LFC Heaven and welcome to a brand new match review and match reaction video and yesterday Liverpool played Valerenga in Norway and the, the fans came out in force and it was a brilliant preseason game I must say I'm really really impressed with Liverpool in this preseason I have been watching preseason games since 2001 and this has been actually the best preseason I have ever seen uh, we won the game 4-1 with an absolutely brilliant performance and we could have scored 8 or 9 goals, we missed so many chances, we hit the post twice I think in the second half and in the first half, and sorry no, we hit the post 3 times, uh, in first in the, uh, in, the in the first half and then uh, twice in the second half and uh, we scored 17 goals in 6 games, won all 6 of them and conceded only one goal and Simon Mignolet uh, still didn't conceal the goal because it was Brad Jones in the first half and uh, I was really impressed the, uh, the B team played in the first half and uh, we created numerous chances, we kept the ball well, we passed it around and uh, in the 30th minute uh, Jago Aspas curled a brilliant curling shot onto the bar, it, ca it rebounded the defender headed away and then Luis Alberto from 18 yards or 20 yards out on a first time volley as it came out with his uh, left foot, with his right foot sorry, uh, curled the ball into the far corner with an absolutely brilliant first time volley, I was really impressed with that and then uh, in the 44th minute after Iago Aspas missed uh, 3 or 4 uh, really really good chances, Downing raised down the right wing, he was uh, quite impressive in this game even though I would have, I would like us to purchase a better winger than Downing but uh, he, is, he is a pretty good player, he just can't finish uh, sadly but um, he is a good provider and he is good with both the left and right foot and this time with his right foot Iago Aspas made a dummy, the defender uh, made a dummy to the right, the defender uh, switched and then uh, Iago Aspas went to the near post and Downing on a plate gave a brilliant assist to Aspas who slotted into the open goal, it was a typical poacher's goal. Uh, before that um, Valeranga scored from a corner which was a big worry, uh, we, were, we conceded too many corners, uh, too many goals from corners uh, last season and Henderson lost his man and Gonzalez scored for Valerenga so it was 2-1 and then almost the, the whole team changed for the second half and Martin Kelly from a Liverpool corner scored with his shoulder on the, on the 53 minutes to make it 3-1 and after that we just passed the ball around brilliantly and uh, Coutinho was really really impressive and also uh, Steven Gerrard uh, orchestrated uh, the moves, uh, Lucas uh, was really impressive as well and uh, also uh, Raheem Sterling did some good touches and uh, the fourth goal came in the 92nd minute when uh, Coutinho just glided past, past the Valerenga defender which was brilliant to see and uh, then uh, Coutinho passed to Asaidi who uh, played in the second half, the forgotten man he's rumored to go on loan to Chris Park Rangers which would be good for his career because he couldn't get a game even last season when we were in the Europa League so Aspas with a brilliant back heel, back heel did I think it was uh, intended for Coutinho but Sterling was there and he slotted it home into the far corner in the 92nd minute goalkeeper no chance by the way, the Valerenga goalkeeper was really, really impressive. He made countless amount of saves, six or seven really good saves. So if it wasn't for him, we would have banged in seven or eight goals. Uh, so I was really impressed, all in all, with the team. We have one more friendly remaining against Celtic in Dublin, uh, uh, in the Aviva Stadium. I uh, visited that stadium when I was in Dublin and it's a brilliant stadium. I, I'm already looking forward to that and uh, in Dublin there are loads of uh, Liverpool fans so the stadium will be packed as well and also there are loads of Celtic fans there as well so Celtic Liverpool I'm really looking forward to the last preseason friendly and if if we carry on this form and carry this into the Premier League season I have high hopes that we can get off to a flyer because the fixture list in the first 10 games is not the hardest there are loads of winnable games 
where we pick up where we can pick up points. So it's, I expect us to be close to the top three after 10 games in the Premier League. What are your predictions, guys? Let me know in the comments below where will Liverpool finish. And also I will be talking about the Suarez situation tomorrow where I, I will be talking in depth about the Suarez interviews, about the Rogers interviews and about Suarez giving interviews to the Telegraph, to Marca and where I stand in this issue. So stay tuned for that. And also enjoy the Liverpool Carrier Mode episode that I uploaded today. And uh, have a nice uh, day. I hope you enjoyed my match review and match reaction. If you haven't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button because after every game, where I, whenever I can, I will be uploading match reviews and match reaction videos. And uh, thanks for watching. Have a nice evening. Like the video if you enjoyed it. See you later, guys. You will never go alone. Goodbye.